Good morning. Our uh, devotion for today is about taking responsibility for the choices we make. It's always easier to blame other people, but God wants us to be honest about the things we do. It says in Genesis 3, 8 to 13 and 16 to 23. In verse 8, Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Verse 9, But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered in verse 10, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. In verse 11, And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? Verse 12, The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Verse 13. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. And in verse 16, To the woman he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe with painful labor you will give birth to children your desire will be for your husband and he will rule over you in verse 17 to adam he said because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about which i commanded you you must not eat from it. Curse is the ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat food from it all the days of your life. Verse 18 It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. Verse 19 By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you will return. Verse 20, Adam named his wife Eve because she would become the mother of all the living. In verse 21, the Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. Verse 22, And the Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat the and live forever. And last 23, So the Lord God banished him from the garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. Adam and Eve were hiding from God in the beautiful garden God had given them. They felt guilty and ashamed. God had told them not to do just one thing, and they did it anyway. It's Eve's fault, said Adam. She gave me the fruit. I only ate it. It's not my fault, said Eve. The serpent tempted me, and I picked it. Now you know the difference between what is good and what is bad. What is right and what is wrong, said God. You have not trusted me to take care of you. Now, 
You must live by the choices you have made. So this verse says, show God's desire to have fellowship with us. They also show why we are afraid to have fellowship with Him. Adam and Eve hid from God when they heard Him approaching. God wanted to be with them, but because of their sin, they were afraid to show themselves Sin had broken their close relationship with God, just as it has broken ours. But Jesus Christ, God's Son, opens the way for us to renew our fellowship with Him. God longs to be with us. He actively offers us His unconditional love. Our natural response is fear because we feel we can't live up to his standards but understanding that he loves us regardless of our faults can help remove that dread when god asked adam about his sin adam blamed eve then eve blamed the serpent how easy it is to excuse our sins by blaming someone else or circumstances but god knows the truth and he holds each of us responsible of what we do admit your wrong attitudes and actions and apologize to god don't try to get away with sin by blaming someone else let us pray hallelujah gracious and loving father thank you for this day father god help us to admit when we are wrong lord forgive us when we blame other people for the choices that we make lord we entrust everything to you in jesus name amen